Yes, welcome. Today we are going to be learning Lexis and Structure proper. Today we are going to be learning what? Lexis and what? Structure. Lexis and Structure. In English language, we have the individual words like teacher, obi, ada, beat. These are the individual words, words. The individual words, words. Now, when you combine this individual word, these individual words are known as lexis. They are known as what? Lexis. The individual words, words. The words are lexis. You understand? Then the rule or the relationship between these words, how you combine them, is what we call what? Structure. Is what we call what? Structure. Is that clear? Yes. The individual words, the words themselves, like beat, in, heart, teacher, lorry, car, like, love, all those individual words are known as what? Lexis. But the way you combine those words so that you say, obi, beat, ada, every day, that combination is the word we known as what? Structure. In English language, you always hear uh, see problems. In dumb English language, you also always see problems from what? Lexis and what? Structure. So, when you have the words, the aspect of English language, the Lexis, that's why we study things like synonym and what? Anthony. You bring out a word. You say, what is the opposite of this word? What is the word that is nearest in meaning to this word? You understand? Both the word and the ones that are opposite or nearest in meaning, the diction, are all classified under what? Lexis. Is that clear? Then when you talk about structure, which is the area of English language, you're talking about the combination. How these words, how this diction combine together. You understand? To make a sentence. Then you're talking about what? Structure. So under Lexis, you can see uh, subjects like synonym. Another one is what? Another one is what? Antonym. Synonym is what? Nearest to meaning, isn't it? Antonym is what? Opposite to meaning. Is that clear? You can also see other topics like what? Diction. Semantics. Diction. You can also see what? Semantics. Diction simply means collection of words. Collection of what? Words that are used for a particular group. Then we also talk about what? Homophones. Words that are sounding together. Homophones. We talk about what? Homo what? Phones. Words that what? Sound together. We also look at topics like what? Collocation. Collocation. Company of words. Collocation. We look at what? Collocation. This is also under lexics. Collocation. And finally, we look at polysemy. Polysemy. Words with more than one meaning. Polysemy. Words with more than what? one meaning. So those are the topics that you look at when you are studying lexics. Then when you are talking about structure, then you are talking about the combination of these words. How you, how you take the, the subject and combine it with the predicator and the word complement in order to make a sense. Is that clear? So you find out that when you get to that question, you'll be seeing problems of Nearest and meaning. Nearest and meaning is what? Nearest and meaning is on our topic in Lexis. Synonyms. Synonyms. Then when you see questions in opposite and meaning, what are you looking at? Hmm? What? Anthony. You understand? Then when they are discussing about, about law, or about police. You know, there are some passages that you see discussion about the police, isn't it? There are some words that you use when you're discussing about police. 
that you don't you, you don't use when you're talking about normal discussion. You understand? When a policeman comes and takes you away, what do we call that? Arrest, isn't it? Is it not? If you say the policeman came into my office and took me away, have you used the right diction? What is the right diction? Arrested me. Isn't it? When you go to the hospital to get tested, you see, they tested me and find out that I'm having malaria. What's the right word for testing in the hospital? Diagnosis, isn't it? Yes. It was diagnosed of what? Malaria. Is it? Yes. So the right diction is the right collection of words that you use for a profession, isn't it? Yes. When, you are, when you are talking about hospital or medical line, we have some words that are good for them, isn't it? You are talking about police, you have some words there. You are talking about law or law court, you talk about eyewitness, isn't it? Evidence. Evidence. Eyewitness, isn't it? File a suit, isn't it? Affidavit, isn't it? Those are the words that you use there. So that we are talking about what? Diction. We are talking about what? Diction. The right use of word for a particular place. Then semantic is talking about the meaning of words. Homophone is talking about words that sound together. Who can give me an example of two words that sound together but they have different meaning? Huh? Two words that sound together but have different meaning. Advice and advice, isn't it? Then you talk about uh, polysemy. A word that has two different meaning. Who can give me one word that has two different meaning? A word that has more than one meaning. Yeah. So what are the two meaning? Yeah. So such are the words that have. So whenever you're talking about these topics, you're treating them under what? Lexis. You're treating them under what? Lexis. Lexis. Now, when you're talking about structure, we talk about topics like concord. Topics like what? Concord. Which is what we are going to deal more on. Which is what we are going to do what? Deal more on today. Please, can you get on this sketch? Have you gotten it down? Yes, sir. Good.